So I love the questions that come in. This last question is, should Christians believe in angels and do we really have angels assigned to us? Well, if you know the Bible and you study the Old Testament and the New Testament, there's literally hundreds of examples of angels coming to defend God's people, angels coming to give messages from God, angels coming to help people in distress. An angel came to minister to Jesus after he was in the wilderness for 40 days. So angels are all throughout the Bible. So Christians should believe in angels, but the difference is Christians don't worship angels. Angels, according to Hebrews, are ministering spirits that are sent to minister to the heirs or for the heirs of salvation. They're there to help us. They're there to support us. They're there to protect us, but they're not to be worshiped. As a matter of fact, we see examples in the Bible where men did worship angels and angels said, look, I'm just like you. Don't worship me, worship the Lord God. And I think that's something that gets confused in our culture, in our day, in new age, in different religions. We worship angels when we're supposed to really worship God. Now, are angels really assigned to us? Absolutely, because the Bible says clearly that the angels of the Lord are encamped around uh, Christians or believers that fear and love the Lord. So there are, God, there are uh, guardian angels that are around you. There's angels sent on assignment to protect people that fear the Lord. Again, they're there to protect us. They're there to serve and help us. They're sent by God, but they're certainly not to be worshiped and put in a place of idolatry or a place where only Jesus Christ or only the Holy Spirit and the Father belong. So yes, angels are there. And I really believe, listen to pastor, I really believe that in these last days, like the, the first appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ, angels were coming and doing a lot of work and sharing a lot of thoughts with people. I think we're gonna see angel manifestations before the second return of the Lord Jesus Christ. So Lord, we thank you that you've given us angels to protect us. We thank you that they're, they minister to the heirs of salvation, and that's who we are. We thank you that they send messages from God to us. But Lord, we worship you and you alone. But we thank you for the protection of angels around our life. Lord, I pray you bless each one and let us know we don't have anything to fear. God is with us and he's got angels around us. It's in Jesus' name we pray. God bless you, my friend.